Welcome to my everything you need to know about Armory Rush Mode type of video and prepare for the worst because you're gonna encounter many many fights and you're gonna die many times, multiple times, 10 times, 50 times. So I hope you have some coin to spend and invest into this rank grind game mode. Let's go straight into it and start with your gear. So I recommend using the basic gear, which is gonna cost you 30K. You can go eventually for the advanced one, but I would not recommend going for the premium, which is 150K if you are not familiar with the map and the game mode itself, because you're gonna waste tons of money. Let me explain why. So the map is small, armor is small itself. And in rush mode, people just play different they actually rush they rush into the armory so you can get attacked from behind from the side or there may be already enemies in the armory so it's actually very tense and actually very fast paced therefore even if you have very good gear it may happen that you just get randomly shot and you lose all your equipment i think that if you can get out like two times out of five times, then you're already good. I use this game mode to grind rank points because I see a slight chance that I'm gonna reach legend, which is interesting because I was aiming for ace and I was happy that I reached ace. And now here we have the rush mode. Maybe we're gonna have double rank points during the last week. And I'm already ace four. So yeah, there is a slight chance that I'm gonna reach legend, which would be super amazing. And I'm gonna grab the chance here, guys, and promote my kid, Zekriel Ninja. He's nine years old at the moment, sitting in Ace 1, and he's that far away from becoming legend. And I think if he reaches legend, he's going to be one of the youngest players on earth reaching legend in Arena Breakout. If you wanna see his stuff, check out his channel, Zekriel Ninja. I'm gonna put it on screen somewhere. Let's circle back to the gear. So basic equipment, the 30K, but avoid using a shotgun, avoid using Mosin, avoid using SKS, go for the AK-74N, the Mech-10, go for UMP and basically SMGs. If you have enough coin to spend and go for the advanced gear, maybe picking up an AKM or such, you're gonna have better chances, but I think the basic gear also works. Since we have a bunch of bots in the armory wearing T4, T4 armor and helmet and decent guns with T3 or eventually T4 ammunition, you can get that gear for free if you can keep yourself alive until you get into armory and then defeat the bots. In terms of loot, this is not the best map. So you're not getting all of the high-end items what you have on the standard armory. I think it's the same as we had on armory raid mode a couple of weeks back but you can still find nice items i found a 230k key for northridge ticket office for example i found a vase worth 450,000. i found also a target module that target laser module or whatever which i gave to sequel by the way sharing is caring this is what dads do right so you can find some stuff you can also pick up t4s you can pick up ammunition from bots so you can extract with, if you have a good rate, 300,000, 400,000. But remember, you need to keep yourself alive and it's not that easy on this map. This brings me to the third topic, which is strategy. Basically how you should approach the map, how you should play. I think majority of the players go straight into armory. You're gonna see the alarm going off very early, both for broken entrance and also for bunker. So basically players are swarming the armory and it's not just that one team on the broken side and another on the bunker side. No, then there's a second wave and eventually even a third wave arriving to armory. Usually there are some fights happening at the gas station up there and then they slowly go to the radio station or maybe go through the hospitals. So it takes them approximately five, 10-ish minutes until they get to the armory. I would suggest taking advantage of that. So if you are very near to the armory, then be prepared that somebody is gonna come very soon, okay? If you spawn in the middle of the map, so not the north side and not near to armory, then you gotta be prepared that by the time you get to armory, there might be some teams already around. Anyways, guys, I recommend you two strategies. One is get some early kills, two or three kills, and then extract without the backpack because it's worth it. If you get 100 rank points or 150 rank points, then 
you can sacrifice like 30k for that amount of rank points. Extracting without the backpack on this map is not a shame because ultimately we are going for the rank points, right? And this actually generates a very interesting situation because if you are not going into the armory, uh, then you don't want to use the radio station extract or the mine extract. Why would you risk your life going to that switch and then fighting the bots? Just drop your backpack and, and get out of the map and then start a new game. The second strategy is to go into the armory, clear everything and basically defeat everybody, all of the bots, all of the players and loot everything and then get out by using the canals. Again, it makes the radio station extract and the mine extract redundant. And the only case where I would consider extracting at radio station or mine would be that while I was heading into the armory or fighting bots in the armory, somebody activates the canal switch and then extracts or dies, whatever. So basically I cannot use that extract, but I still loot armory. In that case, you are basically forced to, to go into radio station or mine, but it really happens. I played like, I don't know, 50 games and it, it happened like once or twice. Last but not least, here are five tips for you. Tip number one, keep an eye on which doors have been opened, okay? Broken, bunker, you need to be aware. Don't miss the notification because you're gonna hear lots of alarms from the very beginning. You have to know where your enemies are. Number two, don't underestimate the bots within Armory, okay? They are wearing T4, some of them. They are running with a Scaria, RPK, or even FAL. They are hard to fight, and there is one bot type with the um, gray helmet, and that bot is, for some weird reason, even aiming at your head, which bots usually don't do, but I got shot multiple times by that bot and my, my, my head got injured. So be cautious, you cannot just run inside and then spray them. It's, it's not gonna work, you're gonna die. Same applies for the patrolling bots outside of Armory. There's a squad of three, four or five bots with kinda heavy armor, FAL, AKM, in T4 and they are destroying you. So if you see them, try to avoid them. It just doesn't make sense to fight them because you're gonna waste all your ammunition. Or if you're running as a squad, you can quickly fight them and then gear up. That also works. Tip number three actually relates to what I just said. So gain advantage of these bots, head into armory and dress up. Your bullets are going to be much worse compared to the bullets the bots use. In Armory, you're gonna dress up into T4, pick up their weapons, and then have T3 or even T4 ammunition in your pocket. Tip number four is that early game don't play it slow. It's called rush mode for a reason. You can try to be sneaky, but even if you are sneaky, there are so many enemies and bots around that you cannot be sneaky enough to make sure that you are aware of everything that is happening around you and you get, get easily shot. So you are better off if you are not sneaking, try rushing, try encountering close combats, try getting some kills, gearing up quickly. So this is not for slow play. And tip number five is get used to playing with a 1x scope or even without scope because on this map, you're not gonna find any scope. So if you are used to the 4X scope uh, and hunting and farming on Valley, North Ridge or even farm, then you're gonna have a hard time because this map is about close range combats or mid range combats with 1X scope. If you wanna practice that before you head into the armory rush mode, then hop over to port, equip a 1X scope onto your MP5 or UMP or whatever gun you use and then gain some practice over there. That's it for today, soldiers. Good luck on the battleground and I truly hope you're gonna reach the rank you want to reach, whether it be master, ace or legend. See you next time. Shady out. Bye.